بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم زوارنا الكرام مساء الخير واهلا وسهلا فيكم بهذا الحفل الخاص اللي من خلاله رح نقدم لكم احدث ساعه عصريه من شركه بلون بان Distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome to this very, very special occasion at this very special venue, the Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo at the Dubai Mall. I'd like to acknowledge, of course, the presence uh, with us tonight of Mr. Mohammed Al-Abbar, the chairman of Amar Properties, the man behind this magnificent Dubai Mall, and of course, the majestic Burj Khalifa, and sitting right next to him is Mrs. Naila Hayek the chairwoman of the Swatch Group, who are uh, with us in the audience tonight. Please give a big round of applause for being with us uh, here this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. And before we start, a word of, uh, a word of welcome from Mr. Chairman, Amar Properties, Mr. Mohamed Labbar, please. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening. Uh, Naila, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, I would like to uh, truly uh, thank you, Naila, and your team for giving us um, this fabulous uh, opportunity uh, this evening, uh, not only by uh, launching uh, X Phantoms, but I think uh, giving us the opportunity to uh, place it in front of the world uh, tonight uh, from uh, Dubai Mall. I would like also to thank you for inviting many of uh, our colleagues uh, from the press and the media uh, from all over the world. So I welcome you to, to the city of Dubai and I do welcome you to uh, Dubai Mall. Uh, I must say that, uh, Naila, you've spoken to me almost two years ago that your dream is really to, uh, to bring your son to dive. And, uh, and I'm really thrilled that, that he's uh, with us, uh, that he is uh, diving uh, tonight. Uh, but at the same time, again, uh, for you to... Uh, uh, work with our team and, and, and use Dubai Mall to launch this fabulous uh, piece of, of art and technology, uh, which of course uh, Blanc Pan is known for uh, globally, uh, but for it to come out of, uh, of, of the city of Dubai and uh, out of Dubai Mall to the world, it's really a fabulous opportunity. And I would like to just uh, uh, tell you that uh, this mall, since we built it, we have grown in traffic at about almost 12% uh, a year. So we closed our numbers uh, for uh, 2010 with almost uh, 48 uh, million visitors. We expect to finish uh, 2011 uh, above uh, 50 million uh, visitors. Uh, and the great news is that while watching the numbers, uh, if we look at the uh, average sale of uh, stores per square foot that's also going uh, in the right direction and, and that of course uh, because of the fabulous uh, retailers and the brands that we have with us uh, in, in Dubai Mall and in the city of Dubai and I must say that uh, uh, all of you have supported us from day number one. You opened your stores with us, you took the risk uh, by investing uh, in us and I really thank you uh, so much. Uh, Ramesh as well, you have uh, really have done a fabulous job all along and I do wish you uh, all the best. Uh, thank you so much again and many congratulations. Ladies and gents, distinguished guests, members of the worldwide media, tonight we're going to witness the world premiere launch of X Fathoms, the most extreme watch Blancpain has ever produced, ever produced. Simply put, the creation you're about to witness tonight is a masterpiece of technological brilliance, and we're going to do it in a way that nobody in the past has done it before here at Dubai Mall. Later on this evening, we will have a question and answer session coming up for members of the media, if you have any questions, of course. Uh, but we'd like to welcome Hopefully inside, as they descend in the water, in the aquarium, the CEO of Blancpain, Mr. Mark Hayek. And joining him to ask a few questions will be the world-renowned journalist, dive magazine editor, and underwater photographer, Dietmar Fuchs, ladies and gents. As you take a look at the aquarium, they are descending right as we speak for this worldwide exclusive launch. And especially for the occasion, we've assembled a watchmaker's desk, as you see it downstairs, and hopefully tonight 
in just a few minutes, we will present something absolutely majestic, something unique, something different, and it had to be the launch of X Fathoms from Blancpain here at Dubai Mall. You see in the water, donned in the scuba gear, of course, this is a controlled environment. There are very, very experienced divers, so you can have no worries about that. The CEO of Blancpain, Mr. Mark Hayek, and Dietmar Fuchs, the dive magazine editor, world-renowned journalist and underwater photographer. And they will be doing something very, very special with the help of technology. They'll be communicating to each other and hopefully we'll be able to hear what they have to say. Can we hear what they have to say? I don't think we can. Well, basically, um, I think they're motioning for somebody to join them. Are we going to have a third party member? Yes, I think we are. As we approach the world premiere launch of X Fathoms, the most extreme watch Blancpain has ever produced, I'd like to introduce you to whoever's coming down the water now without scuba gear. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous freediver Gianluca Ginoni. The man who hated the sea at the age of three years old, but he's got a world record of 152 meter dive and 80 minutes and three seconds of static underwater holding his breath as he presents the X Fathoms, ladies and gentlemen, to Mr. Mark Hayek and Dietmar Fuchs. There it is, it's the worldwide launch from Dubai to the world from Blancpain. It is a masterpiece of unbelievable creation, a piece of technology no other can match. Ladies and gents, it's underwater as we speak, and that is Gianluca Genoni, the world famous free diver who holds the world record for 152 meters that he set in Genoa. And as you can see on the big screens, you can see what the watch looks like. That is, ladies and gents, the X Fathoms underwater right here at the aquarium and underwater zoo at the Dubai Mall. And of course, uh, we know very well that Gianluca Genoni can hold his breath for 18 minutes and three seconds. That is a well record. And of course, uh, he's wearing his uh, watchmaker blouse. And I think we're about to... Uh... The things that watch can do, ladies and gentlemen, the X Fathoms is beyond comprehension. It's truly a remarkable piece of technology. And as we said earlier, that is a controlled environment. So you can be sure that all three members of the team inside the aquarium are in a controlled environment. Very, very experienced divers, and they know exactly what's going on. As they signal to each other, everything is A-OK. -okay. That is signal for divers, of course. So, who's going to be up first? And as we said, if you have uh, any questions for the CEO of uh, Blancpain, Mr. Mark Hayek, or indeed for Dietmar Fuchs, um, have them ready. We've got a special presentation coming up in a, in a few minutes of Q&A. And of course, Mr. Jeffrey will be joining me as well for a special presentation. Now, our cameraman, uh, Dietmar and uh, Mr. Hayek, are going to be making their ascent all the way to the surface. With the watch, of course, with the X Fathoms. But we're not quite sure if we're going to have Gianluca going up with them. I think he's, he's going to hang around for a little while down at the aquarium. The world record, ladies and gentlemen, for a man who could hold his breath underwater statically. The world record, 18 minutes and 3 seconds. That Italian in the aquarium can do that and has done it. 80 minutes and 3 seconds for Gianluca. So he's going to demonstrate for us tonight the ex his extreme power of concentration. It's all about the mind and the body and the, nobody does it around the world like Gianluca Ginoni can. As of course uh, Mark and Dietmar ascent, they'll be joining us in just a few minutes time for the question and answer.
And in the background, ladies and gents, on the big screens, you can see Mark Hayek is wearing the X Fathoms and behind throngs of crowds here at the Dubai Mall enjoying the spectacle, the world premiere, the world launch. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have many, many more world launches from here, from the Dubai Mall. That's the X Fathoms from Blancpain, ladies and gents. There'll be press kits giving out for everybody, so I'm sure you'll get the, the full script about all the technology in the X Fathoms. A watch, a masterpiece, a work of art like no other. X Fathoms from Blancpain. Now, what's Gianluca doing? Are you okay, buddy? He's trying to catch a fish, I think. Ladies and gents, a big round of applause, please. Gianluca Genoni from Italy. Big round of applause. Our free diver who holds the record for 18 minutes and three seconds. What an incredible feat and an incredible, incredible guy. We'll just move the stage a little bit and get ready for Mr. Jeffrey Kingston to do a little presentation for us this evening. And if you have any questions for the CEO of Blancpain, please have them ready. Jeffrey Kingston, ladies and gentlemen, is a passionate watch collector. And for nearly a decade, he's hosted events throughout the US and Asia for watch collectors reporting on the most interesting developments in the industry. He's an author and a journalist writing about watches and art de ville. And we're very happy and lucky to have him with us tonight for this exclusive launch of X Fathoms. The press kits and a background on the X Fathoms, ladies and gents, being passed to our worldwide media. And of course, there'll be details of this exclusive worldwide launch hitting the internet very, very soon. And to tell you more about the X Fathoms, ladies and gents, the watch collector and the author and the man who is going to be telling us a lot more about this event as well. Please welcome with a special presentation tonight, Mr. Jeffrey Kingston. Thank you, Fadi. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you are a student of dive watches and you have followed them closely, I think you'll agree with me that what you have seen is extraordinary. And it's extraordinary, really, when you think about it in two dimensions. The technical side of the watch advances the state of the art of watchmaking to a place it's never been before. This is a watch which is capable of doing things that no other diving watch in history has accomplished. And it has done that as well by bringing to the world of watchmaking some technologies that have not been used in diving watches before. But there's a second dimension, and if you have studied diving watches, you'll recognize this one as well. And that is that the X Fathoms watch has a link to Blancpain's past and to its tradition and its history. It reflects what Blancpain is, and it represents a continuity of 60 years from when Blancpain lost, launched the first 50 Fathoms watch. Now, the 50 Fathoms watch, when it launched, was at its time the first modern diving watch in the world. But there's kind of a story that goes behind how this watch came to be. And actually, we have one of the great historians for the legend of the 50 Fathoms with us today, Stefan Cheska, who I saw a moment ago. He's seated uh, among you. But the story of the 50 Fathoms, that is the logical father of the X Fathoms, is that the French, after World War II, wanted to form a combat diving corps for the French Navy, and they needed a watch. And the two French divers who were given the responsibility to uh, assemble the diving corps and build a tradition of a new military arm for the French sought out to find a watch. And the first place they went, they found a small watch 
that leaked, which of course wouldn't work at all for diving. And so they went around to the watch industry to find somebody who would accept the challenge of making a diving watch that would work. And there was only one. And that man was Jean-Jacques Fichter, who was the CEO of Blancpain in 1950. He accepted the challenge and created a watch together with the French combat divers called the 50 Fathom. This watch has turned out to be extraordinary. It has endured for 60 years, but it's done more than that. It has defined what diving watches are today. Uh, and not only for Blancpain, but for the entire industry. And some of the things that went into the 50 Fathoms watch that Blancpain created in 1953 uh, are going to seem, I think, almost a trivial today, or they'll seem obvious. Uh, and it reminds me of, of the story of a child taken to the first Shakespeare play and saw two or three Shakespeare plays and said, well, they were OK, but the plays were all filled with cliches. I've heard all these lines before. And of course, they weren't cliches when Shakespeare wrote them. And these attributes of a diving watch weren't obvious when Blancpain created them. And of course, the standard that has been defined is great water resistance, easy legibility, luminosity. The combat divers wanted to dive at night, by the way. Um, a rotating bezel and a bezel that would be unidirectional so that it won't turn the wrong way, and resistance to magnetism, automatic winding. All of these things were brought to the world of diving watches by Blancpain. They endure today. And this really is the patrimony of Blancpain because the 50 Fathoms in 1953 was the most modern advanced diving watch in the world. And today, vintage 50 Fathoms watches are sought after by collectors who recognize that tradition and recognize what was created in 1953. Um, I've put side by side a photograph of a 1950s vintage 50 Fathoms watch and the modern 50 Fathoms from 2008 so that you can see how the DNA has been stretched over these 50 years to maintain the tradition of what was first created at Blancpain. But as well, there is uh, a parallel to be drawn between what was done in 1953 and what you have seen today. And that parallel is in 1953, a diving watch was created to meet the needs of military divers. The watch that you saw today was conceived by Mark Hayek to meet the needs of scuba divers. And, and so you have that same diving centrality to everything that was done. When Mark undertook this project, he put a list together. And it was a list that was really daunting because this was not going to be an ordinary diving watch. It was going to do things that hadn't been done before. And if you push the envelope, if you push the frontier to do new things, he saw that the existing technologies and the existing way of doing things wouldn't accomplish those ends. So it was four years to find new technologies, to find a way to adapt them to watches, to perfect the way they would work in the watch, to come to the 50 fathoms that we see today. So he did create the most advanced diving watch in the world today, and as well, at the same time, the uh, most uh, extreme watch that Blancpain has ever produced. Now, to do that, this watch was created using the base of the 50 Fathoms watch from 2008, which is the 1315 Blancpain caliber movement. This is a movement that has a free-sprung balance, three mainspring barrels, five-day power reserve, extraordinarily robust. And then on top of it, what was added was a precision depth measuring system that uses two hands. One hand reads from zero to 15 meters over a full 270 degree arc. The other hand reads from zero to 90 meters. 
Then what was added was a maximum depth hand. So the watch can read not only the current depth where the diver is, but the deepest depth achieved during the particular dive. A five minute counter, which you saw demonstrated on the way up, when divers dive, when they come up from the depth, many times it's important to decompress and to time the decompression. And so this watch has built into it a five minute countdown timer to assist the diver in doing that. And it also includes the world's most advanced strap system. So I've resisted all my impulses up till now uh, by giving you history, and I haven't even shown you the watch. I wanted to show you the watch the first thing. But here it is. This is the X Fathom from Blancpain. And to show you a little bit more about the watch and how it works, we have a short film, which I hope you'll enjoy. So let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Mark Hayek. Congratulations, Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, Hi. Mr. Mark <laughs> Hayek you. on stage. Thank you. Pleasure to be with, with you again. Uh, see you a little bit clearer. I have to say the fish, uh, they don't have a very good vision. Uh, you have a better vision inside than the fish outside. <laughs> maybe we could do before we go into some of the features of the watch. Uh, talk to us first about how you came to the idea of debuting the watch here in Dubai. Yeah, for me it was uh, one thing that it was a world premiere and uh, we are already geographically for importance region in the middle. Uh, it's a center, a hub where the world meets. And personally, when I was standing the first time in front of this aquarium as a diver, I always had aquariums where you felt it was, it was an aquarium. And here I said, whoa, well, I'm standing in front like a window in a reef. It's the reality. And uh, that was just uh, stunning to see. And I said, if we can ever do something like here, because showing a watch with this was always what I would have loved to do, but I could only do it to other divers. And uh, having this chance uh, was fantastic. What, what, one other question that comes to mind. Um, the name X Fathom. What does the name mean? Where did it come from? Now, the X Fathoms is because the 50 Fathoms comes actually from 50 Fathom depth measurement, a bit more than 90 meters of the first version. And uh, I thought this, uh, when you read on, on, on C maps and you see a definition of different uh, uh, depth or variable uh, distance, you have the X as variable. And the X Fathom, because 
it's not about how deep the watch is waterproofed. Uh, it's about the indication of death. It's about uh, the change of death. So it's undefined uh, fathom. And uh, also a little bit the X as something unknown, uh, something uh, extreme. So when we're talking about measuring the depth with the watch, if you, if you look at the uh, diagram that we have in the uh, photo, you'll see that there are two depth hands that I talked about. The blue depth hand reads the zero to 15 meter depth. Very precisely, as you can see, it's full 270 degrees, so you can see each meter displayed on the watch. And the orange depth hand reads zero to 90 over the same arc. So the first 15 meters, you read more precisely on the blue hand, and continue your reading with the orange hand. And then you'll see a red hand, which is the maximum depth during the dive. And another hand for the diver is the countdown hand, which is located at about the 10 o'clock position, the small blue hand that counts down from five to zero, which you used on the way up during your decompression. And finally, and this is actually important for a diver, unlike many diving watches, the X Fathom has a large seconds hand. And there are other diving watches that don't offer that to the diver. Easy legibility of seeing that the watch is running and that the second hand is moving, which is very important for uh, a diver. And they are, of course, uh, things that the diver will use on the watch besides just the countdown counter or the hand, which is the crown, of course, which is, uh, would not be manipulated underwater, a unidirectional rotating bezel. Uh, the pusher at 10 o'clock is to actuate the countdown counter. And the maximum depth also has a reset, but you'll notice that which is located at 8 o'clock has a protector on it so that the diver won't accidentally reset the maximum depth hand because it's very important that that not be disturbed so he knows what he did during the dive. Uh, if you look at the watch and you look at the world of diving watches that existed before, you'll find that no watch is the equal of what the X Fathoms can do. It will measure depth for the diver mechanically deeper than any other watch that's been created. It offers a greater accuracy than any other watch created. The other mechanical diving watches make no claims at all about the precision. The X Fathoms is accurate to 30 centimeters at 50 meters. Think about that for a moment. That's moving your hand like this, which is truly extraordinary. Uh, none of the other mechanical diving watches offer a five minute countdown counter for decompression use. None of them have long power reserve movement. The 1315 base movement of this watch has a power reserve that allows it to run for five days. None of the others equal even to two days. Uh, it is offered with magnetic protection. Now, the ordinary way in which uh, magnetic protection has been provided to watches until now has been to encase them with an iron shield, a soft iron shield. What Blancpain has done instead is to go to a non-magnetic material to the magnetically sensitive part of the watch and use silicium, which achieves the same result without adding the weight of iron to the timepiece. Uh, it is the most advanced watch to offer a maximum depth hand with a separate hand. And uh, all indications on the watch are central hands, that's for legibility, and it has a very unique, the most complex ever constructed uh, form-fitting strap. This mic is going to be better, thanks. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, Oh, excuse me. No, I need to have that back, actually. Pardon me. Part I, I'm going to be like a two-handed drinker now. I've got to click with one and talk with the other. Well, I if you're going to create a watch that is going to be the best in the world, 
the materials have to be great as well. And uh, the X Fathoms watch has a completely 100% in-house caliber movement. It's offered with a sapphire bezel, which is the second hardest material on earth, which provides scratch resistance, which is important, plus the look of sapphire. It's different than the other materials that are used. Um, now this is some of the deep technology in the watch. It has a liquid metal membrane, and that's exclusive to Blancpain in this timepiece. And it uses grade five, which is the medical grade titanium for the case of the watch. Now this is a diagram that explains a little bit how the depth measurement system works. To achieve the precision that Blancpain wanted, it had to go to extraordinary lengths in the crafting of the components. You see that there is a small red finger sticking up in the middle of the watch, which actuates a uh, rack and a pinion. Now, the rack and the pinion engage to move the hands, but the ordinary precision by which watch components are made wasn't good enough. Ordinarily, the way in which you do it, even with lasers, doesn't achieve the precision that Blancpain needed. So instead, Blancpain sought out deep X-ray lithography to build up the material in a very precise way to get the kind of accuracy that it needed to make this watch work. This is brand new technology, never been uh, in a watch before. Uh, the liquid metal membrane is the heart of the watch for measuring depth. And that is also a new material for a diving watch. And you say, what is liquid metal? <laughs> and it's black art, isn't it? Because it's, it's a combination of zirconium, beryllium, copper, titanium, and nickel. And what they have to do is melt it all together and then cool it rapidly in a very precise way, and it doesn't form crystals. And so what you get is something that deforms very, very easily. It's sort of half liquid, half metal. And it's at the heart of measuring depth because this is the membrane that seals the watch from the water and then deforms as the water pressure comes upon it. And because it's liquid metal, it can be made thinner than the normal material. And you would say, why does that matter? And it matters because the more you can make it deform because it's thinner, the more precision you can get in the watch. And that's one of the secrets that makes the X Fathoms do what other diving watches can't do. Now, uh, there are some other advantages to the liquid metal, very technical. Um, unlike steel, which is what other companies use, it won't ever permanently deform other materials do permanently deform. It doesn't require aging. In other watches, they have to move the metal back and forth and back and forth to try and get it more supple. This doesn't need to be done with liquid metal. It never gets micro cracks, which does happen to steel, so it's stable. And this watch can, of course, go deeper than the 90 meters, and there is a uh, steel shield which the liquid metal comes against to achieve that point. Um, this is the system that you see for bringing the water to the watch. Now, the one thing that's probably going through your mind is, does the water ever get inside the watch? And the answer is no. The liquid metal membrane seals all of the watch except for the chamber that has the access points, which are the grills that you see, plus on either side, there are two additional entry points for water so that in case the diver has put it too tightly on his wrist, the water will still come to the watch. And now you can see the very complex strap system, which is all part of the watch. So, Mark, before I, I conclude, one other question for you. Tell me how you came to the idea of the 50 fathoms and what you wanted to put in it. Yeah, the 50 Fathom, besides all um, the challenges on the technical side, it was really, for me, the, the, the essence of what the 50 Fathom was. The 50 Fathom, at its time, was not designed by a brand seeing a market uh, and, and uh, doing a watch. It was a pure demand from a diver. 
and it was designed to meet this demand. Readability, unidirectional Bessel, and, and, and. And uh, we went back to that. It really started with, with what, can I, what do I need today? What don't I have on a mechanical watch that is useful when I dive? Besides, afterwards having a watch that looks great, that's extreme, that has high technology in. So it's really going back a little bit to the original thought of when the 50 Fathom uh, was created, what became an icon today, and uh, to honor this as well, and to, to keep the spirit alive of sometimes not thinking first about, oh, okay, we have market, but thinking, let's create something outstanding for even a small market to honor our, our roots, where we come from. And, and, and this is the, the same symmetry that, that I saw. You know, nearly half a century apart from the 50 Fathoms, the first, to the X Fathoms, we see the passion of divers who understand diving and who understand watches create something that hasn't been created before. And, for that matter, going to technology to get to that point. So I, I think what Mark, what we all see and the congratulations we have is that you have kept the tradition alive at Blanc Pain. Ladies and gents, put your hands together, please, Mr. Jeffrey Kingston. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Members of the media, ladies and gents, if you have any questions, uh, please just raise your hand and uh, we'll get a microphone uh, through to you. If you have a question for uh, Mr. Mark Hayek, please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone through to you. Any members of the media with a question tonight? We just witnessed a fantastic worldwide launch of the X Fathoms, ladies and gents. Yes, sir, can we have a, a microphone, please? Put your hand up, please, sir. Thank you. How much is the watch? The cost of the watch. I'm sorry, I didn't. Can you read the question? How much does it cost? How much does retail cost? Watch? cost okay, it? sorry. Um, price fixed is not defined yet because it's still on a prototype pass. It will be in Swiss francs uh, between 30 and 40,000 Swiss francs. Any other questions for Mr. Mark Hayek, please? Ladies and gents, please put your hand up if you have any questions for the CEO of Blompin. Anything you need to know about the X Fathoms? Young lady at the front, please. Hello. Hello? Hello? Okay. Um, just going back to why, sorry, going back to why you decided to launch in Dubai per se. Can you tell us a little bit more about what Dubai in the Middle East represents for the brand and from a business perspective? Yeah, Dubai is, is a definitely an important market uh, for us. It's a market that uh, boomed um, in the last months, in years before, with up and downs like we had in everywhere in the world. But uh, it's becoming more and more important because not only uh, business-wise on, on pure figures, but uh, uh, it's a country where you have so many different uh, uh, customers uh, with, with uh, so many different influences that uh, it's, it's a very interesting market to see as well um, directions, uh, see what works. And uh, as well, Dubai as the country of superlatives, um, it had to be here, uh, the biggest aquarium most beautiful, the biggest mall, the highest tower in the world. It just had to be. Thank you. Any further questions, ladies and gents? If I can add uh, one more question, uh, Mark. In which uh, markets do you expect the X Fathoms to work best? In which markets do you expect the X Fathoms to really excel? Yeah, uh, we'll see. Actually, I hope one of it will be do, uh, Dubai. Dubai, UAE, of course. <laughs> the Middle East. Um, I'm hoping for uh, um, Europe, US, um, some Asian market, but it was just more classical. I China, think, maybe? Uh, China, maybe. But I think uh, 
the, it will as well help uh, markets, uh, especially also with the ocean and the diving culture around, uh, like we have in France, in the US, in, in, the, in the Middle East. And I'm sure with the advance of scuba diving these days worldwide, the X-Fathoms will come in handy. Any other questions, ladies and gents? Hello? Does it? Yes. Um. Hello. <laughs> yes, uh, hi. Um, I'm from Abu Dhabi Media. Uh, I would like to ask you about uh, the crisis has affected for a few years now. It has affected the uh, watch industry a lot. Mm -hmm. And now you're investing in new costly, if you want, uh, uh, pieces that are really tremendous. So um, I would like to, s to ask you, um, how has it changed now this year? The size of investment, has it increased? Uh, what are your plans for 2012? What do you think of the market in general? Thank you. Sorry. Um, definitely we were hit, but I have to say uh, it was uh, already um, 2010, a very, very strong pickup. In a moment, we are heavily running behind uh, the demand. Uh, so capacity, production is a huge problem. And uh, I mean, it's a nice problem to have. <laughs> but uh, uh, we never really slowed down to invest into uh, research development. You see, with this piece we started four years ago, if brands like Blompa and uh, in general, the Swatch Group, uh, you have to think on a long-term base. Naturally, you have uh, the reality of the markets and you have to listen to the market, but the moment you stop investing into technology, into the future, you will stand still and one day you will, you will be passed and uh, then it's too late to react. So it's very important for us uh, the big, that we invest heavily uh, every year into new te technology and uh, put a big, big part of our uh, benefits actually uh, in research development. Um, and uh, I think that's, that's the philosophy that, uh, that is important for, for a high-end brand because it takes too long uh, to develop that you can have quick reactions and stop. You have to adapt to the market. And uh, as we've seen, it was, uh, I think, a lot of panic as well. The crisis was heavy, but we heard things like, the world will be different forever. For 20 years, we will not pick up. Uh, you see, if you stop before that, we wouldn't have the, 50, uh, the X Fathom today. We wouldn't have the production. Even We would have it even lower than what we have today, and we will lose way more money than the risk we took to continue to invest. So uh, I'm very, very positive, actually, for what I see with the trends coming uh, for 2012. We have markets that perform very well. You always have markets are going up and down and uh, you never know what might be uh, changing in the world uh, this i cannot foresee but uh, i'm very uh, very positive for the situation we got a question at the back please can we have a microphone for the gentleman at the back we have a mic yes, please sorry okay yes please um Good evening. Uh, my name is Angus mm. Davis from Escapement. I have two questions, if possible, very quickly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the first one is uh, I'm a journalist, but I'm also a keen watch collector. I love this watch. I want to know uh, what is the chances of me being able to buy it in terms of is it, uh, the availability. How many are you going to? Sorry, how many are you going to make of the watch uh, per annum? Uh, will I have to wait a long, long time for it? Uh, because I have to persuade my wife to let me buy it first and then I want to get it before I'm a very old man and I can still die. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We will hurry up. <laughs> no, I have to say, um, for the first part, uh, the question, the, the, the availability, the quantity, the first, for me, I would like to bring the first watch even to Dubai. We launched it here in the world uh, premiere, so definitely it will come here with the highest priority. Uh, but we did for the first time, normally you show it in the Basel Fair, we have the fair once a year, uh, the, but it's still prototypes and uh, uh, bring it. I advanced this because I we have to do it outside, we have to come here to do it. So it will be uh, during the next year. Um, still the last little uh, things have to be fixed and um, uh, done for the series. Uh, so we'll take a few more months uh, I hope the middle of next year we will see it in the market. 
and um, it will be small productions. We don't think about limited because I'd like to keep it in a collection, but I don't know, 30, 50 pieces a year. So it will be rare, but okay. um, it will have to be a pleasure to see that you can get one. Okay, and my, my second question, sorry to uh, be so bold, but um, I was very fortunate to see you at Silverstone recently racing. Um, yeah. you, you mentioned that you, you're interested in uh, scuba diving. I want to inquire, is there any chance that we are going to see a, a watch dedicated to motor racing, uh, your other big passion in life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we will uh, definitely already, I think, next year, seeing something even more in that direction. Um, but uh, again, this took me for you to really think of complication to find the solution as better. Uh, we're working heavily on this team as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We've got time for one more question, uh, ladies and gents. Just one more question at the back. Sir, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Hayek, I have uh, Mag Magnus Bosse here. He's watching through the internet that has two questions for you. Um, the first question is, are you working with technology groups to bring that watch to reality? And the second question was, can we expect further tool watches in the, uh, like the X-Fatum in that collection? Okay. Um, we have inside uh, the Swatch Group, when you are, we are talking about liquid metal um, uh, technology groups, uh, yes, for uh, the base material development, uh, but that's inside the group that we have access. And um, the, the rest, no, we're working uh, um, completely in-house. Um, the second question was, will we see more? Uh, more comparable we, watches in that collection. It's not going to be, this is really a piece uh, this, that is uh, something special. Uh, it should not be seen as that's the future of 50 Fathom. Uh, but there might be another interpretation because we already get a little glimpse with Gianluca Cianoni being here. You have a version for scuba diver with air because you need your decompression stop, your safety stop of five minutes. 90 meters is already a, a big depth for for a uh, recreational diver, actually that deeper than you go. But a uh, free diver, and when he wants to do his new record, will go uh, deeper, doesn't need the countdown. So there might be a second version that is actually really free diving uh, that is very close to this one. But otherwise, it's not planned to uh, now have a new family with, with uh, uh, extreme watches like that. That should be really... Um, uh, a unique piece in the collection. Thank you very much. Thank Ladies you. and gents, please put your hands together for the CEO of Blancpain, Mr. Mark Hayek. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, Habibi. Thank you. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, here it is. <laughs> it's the X Fathoms. Thank you very much, Mark. That's all the time we have for tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Please make your way to the Armani Pavilion, ladies and gents, uh, for dinner. And I'd just like to finish off by saying that our live telecast on Blancpain TV and worldwide on the internet went on time. So we're happy that you guys joined us and enjoyed the launch, the worldwide launch of X Fathoms here from the Dubai Mall tonight. Enjoy your dinner at the Armani Pavilion. Once again, many thanks to Mr. Mohamed Labar for joining us. Thank you very much for your hospitality, sir. The chairwoman of Swatch Group, Mrs. Naila Hayek, thank you very much, uh, ma'am. And we hope to see you again in future launches here in Dubai. Thank you to Blancpain and to the organizers of this wonderful event. Enjoy your dinner at the Armani Pavilion here at the Dubai Mall. Thank you very much and good night.